Hello, this is Professor Scott Norman at Pittsburgh State University, and today we are in the Automotive Technology Lab. Uh, I saw an article uh, in one of the uh, AC Trade magazines uh, talking about uh, cabin air filters and how when cabin air filters get dirty, uh, they would uh, increase the amperage to the blower motor, which would cause a blower motor um, resistor failure. So I've seen many articles talking about restrictions in the airflow of the HVAC system in which that would cause uh, amperage to go up. And so I wanted to uh, disprove that fact. I remember when I was working for Chrysler as a training instructor and when cabin air filters were first introduced, the engineers told us that, uh, you know, the, uh, the airflow that if you reduce the airflow through the system, uh, the blower motor has less work to do, so the amperage is going to go down. Now, the blower motor resistor will fail because they get hot and there's not enough airflow to keep them cool enough in order for them to uh, operate properly. So it's not that the amperage is going up. Uh, when you have a restriction in the airflow is that, is that the blower motor resistor just can't keep cool. So in order to, to, to prove that fact for you, I have a, a mock-up unit sitting over here and, and I've done this many a times and with other uh, units. And so right now I have the blower motor on low and I have a 1.84 amps going through that blower motor right now. And so if I come over here and take my, um, <laughs> I'll take my max AC cooling system specification book and I'll put it over the air inlet on that. And when I do that, I can see my amperage is dropping down to um, 1.6, you know, 1.66, 1.7. It's barely, it's kind of hovering between 1.6, 1.7. If I remove the blockage, we're gonna see that amperage go up to, you know, 1.87, 1.88. And so, so we can see that, you know, the airflow is changing. And so I'm gonna put my airflow to, to high now. Um, I can see my amperage go up. Oh, it's going up above 10. I don't quite like that on my fluke meter. So right now it's at 10.45, 10.47. So I'm gonna restrict the system on high and we can see that the airflow or the amperage is now at uh, 8.64 amps. And again, this is restricted right now. You know, you don't feel a lot of airflow coming out of this. Now the blower motor resistor could be getting hot, but again, the amperage is going down. And if I remove my restrictions, I can see my amperage it's going up to 9, 10, 10, 6, 10, 7. Oh, restrict it a little bit so I don't blow my fuse on my fluke. And so, so again, the point is, is that if you have a cabin airflow restriction or restriction of airflow in the AC system, it's not going to cause amperage to go up. It causes amperage to go down because the blower motor doesn't have to work as hard. There's not as much air going through the system, and so the blower motor is able to turn more freely. I brought a second unit in so we could uh, confirm our speculations about uh, amperage and airflow through the HVAC system. And so right now I have a blower motor on high and I have an amperage of uh, 6.22 amps uh, through, this, through this unit. And if I take <laughs> my max book again and if I restrict the system, if I take a look at it, my amperage is dropping down to uh, 5.63 is what it's doing. So there's 5.66, 5.67. And if I take the restriction away, the amperage is going back up to uh, 6.1, 6.2. So we can see that as the airflow decreases, so does the amperage. I could also try to do that on the outlet side, which is harder to do because there's there's quite a, quite a bit of leakage on the outlet side. But if I see if I restrict the outlet side, um, on that, um, which is again, a less common of a failure. Uh, we have a six amps, 6.02 amps, at this point in time as it's restricted. As I take the restriction away, it goes up to, you know, 6.1, 6.2, you know, so right now it's at 6.20, 6.19, and again, we'll restrict it again, and it's definitely dropping, you know, we're down almost to, almost to 5.9, so 6.02, 6.03, and again, pull the restriction away and amperage goes up. Do this one more time on the inlet side, which is more common. And again, if I restrict it on the inlet side, we're dropping the amperage down to 5.69, 5.68. So there's less airflow going through the system. The fan doesn't have to work as hard. So there's less amperage on the fan. This is uh, Scott Norman 
And if you guys are looking for more uh, automotive educational videos, you can visit my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you can look for Professor Pintain. I also have a, uh, a, a website. Uh, look for ProfessorPintain.com. Thank you very much. You guys have a good day. We'll open that one more time. 10.8, uh, 10.9. Okay, we'll go, <laughs> if I keep that too long, it's gonna blow that fuse. And now it's down to 8.46.